Can you hear me, Chris? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Chris? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. So, okay. you got okay. a file yesterday as mail, right? You got a file sorry, yesterday, what? right? So what? Yes, yes, I got. You got. Yes. You, you're breaking okay. up again. Good. Yes, sorry. Hello. Hello. I, I, can't I can hear, hear you. you. No, I know, I know you can hear me, but you, you're breaking up. Like, you know, when I, so when you, when you, when you say full sentence, it's like, you're breaking everything up. I can't hear anything, actually. Hello? Yeah, tell me what to do. From my I, end, I everything is fine. Okay. Because I'm calling in, right? So if I'm calling in, it should be okay. So if you're calling in, it should be okay. But if you're uh, doing some headset or something, I don't know, it's internet call, right? That's yes. what I'm worried about. So. Now can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear you. We'll see. Uh, I, have, I don't have that option of calling. I don't know. They have not given me those details. Okay. Okay. How are you joining the audio? How are you joining the audio? I'm calling in from my phone, right? So the phone is easier, the easiest way to because there's no internet lag in the phone. That's why I want I want this if there's a toll free number or something for the company for you guys or anyone like I can call them and you can talk, right? So this so because it's directly a call, it there was there won't be any lag, there won't be any breakup. Understood. But uh, that's the number for you to dial in this meeting. Uh, can you share that number with me? And even I'll try to call via my phone. Oh yeah, that that the one up there. Um, uh, the, the one up there, right? So I thought the meeting ID. To... No, it's three one two seven five seven three one two one. That's the one. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Can you please type it on the chat window? Okay, yeah, yeah. So you have to call. It is 311312. Okay, 757 And then you have to put the access code. Four zero three two and then this audio pin, I think it's audio pin is 42, I guess. No, this is not a valid number for me. Okay, that's okay. Then I, no, right now I can hear you. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Do like this, Chris. Do like this, Chris. Open your SQL plus window. Open your okay. SQL prompt. You get a prompt like as you see mine. You just type connect, 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 just slash as type. You need not speak. You can chat on the chat window also. Type as you see. Connect to space slash as to CDA. Enter. It would ask for a password. Don't get any password. Simply enter. You would get a message connected and you will get your SQL prompt. Yes, yes, I'm just trying to... Yes. Once you get this, let me know. Was, yeah, I'm just trying, how do you, how do you search for the SQL command? SQL command. Oh, okay, SQL command. It's not a SQL command line, right? That's the one? Yeah, yeah. Yes, run SQL from command line. 
you have a skill from command line. I I have a skill plus, but you will not have. You will not have a skill okay. plus. Okay. You got connected. You got a message connected. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I I gave a file demo build dot txt. I I sent yeah. a file by mail yesterday. Can you copy the yeah. uh, Can you copy the contents of that file and paste it here? Okay. See here. How do you paste it? Right click on top. Edit. Paste. You paste it. Uh, yeah. Like I know. No, I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Edit. Paste. Okay. Here's the contents of the file. Uh, I did. Okay, okay. Paste. Yes, I did. You did. A few lines of yeah. command got executed. What is the last yeah. line of command you can see? One row created and commit. That is not commit. Yes. Now, so what is that we are doing? We have a database. Yeah. When we installed the Oracle software, we had a database. The name of the database was XE. The name of the database was XE, which gets created by default when you install Oracle Express Edition. Okay. Now, how are we supposed to work on any database? Be it Oracle, be it SQL Server, DB2, PostgreSQL. You need to first have an have a login detail, connectivity detail. So that is called as a user account. You should have an account of yours so that you log in with that account. You create objects in that account. So what has happened now? Yeah. I gave a file. In that file, I have written some code which is going to create an account, which will create a schema. It will create some tables. We are creating some tables, and we are also loading some data into these tables. This is what has happened. Okay. So yeah. what is the schema? What is the account we have created? How do you know that? Show user. Just type show at the prompt. Show user. Type show user. It will display Scott. Uh, do, 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 do I need to commit that? No, no. Commit is already done. Commit is already done. Okay. You just type show user semicolon and enter. Semicolon and enter. Okay. Enter. Yeah. Semicolon is a code terminator. Only by giving a semicolon, you are going to execute any SQL command. We are working at the command prompt. Oh, uh, you have you have to give the semicolon every time. Yes, you have to give you have to give the semicolon, and then press okay. enter Is press it? the enter key. Uh, unless what? Hello, unless show what? user. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. You just type show user and semicolon and enter. What output you got? What message you got? User is Scott. User is Scott. Now. Scott is a schema. Scott is a login account which I have created for you. Its password is Tiger. Scott is a login account and its password is Tiger. Getting? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. there are some tables here. We are going to work on these tables. The first okay. query I am going to write is just to list the tables. Select the star from yeah. tab. Yeah. Type select star from tab. Select. Star okay. from tab. Okay. What does tab okay. mean? Tab indicates list of all the objects in your database, in your account. Okay. Select star from tab is going to list you the table. So you have four tables? You have yeah. four tables? Okay. Yeah, like one. Semicolon one, and one, and one. Yes. Yeah. Now let's query a table for a very simple example, the first one. Before that, do this. Can you see my screen? Set a line size yeah. for a better display. Do yeah. this. Yeah. Set the page size 20. And then say, select star from EMP. You're fetching all the columns of the table employee. Select all the star asterisk from EMP is the name of the table, employee table. This is the output you get when you write select the star from EMP. Okay. okay, from EMP, yeah. But you need to have space for yes. every small everything, right? Yes, 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 yes. Select is a command, it's a word. 
star indicates all the columns from the table name. No, I'm talking about no, I'm talking about between employee and semicolon. There should be a space and everything, or no, no, no. Between employee and semicolon, there is no space. It's uh, just the end of the command. EMP semicolon. Okay, fourteen rows selected. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now this is the this is the table on which we are going to drive our code. Most of the things are done on this table. So I want you to understand the structure of this table, the data in this table, and let me know what all you can infer from here. So I need answers like who is the primary key, who is the foreign key, who is the not null field, who is the nullable field, what is the data type of each and every field, which are the numeric fields, which is the character field, which is the date field. Understand the question. Yeah, yeah. So, the so foreign key. I mean, uh, a primary key is employee number. Yes, right. Primary key is employee number. Next. Yeah, and then what are the other questions you have? What are the other questions you have? You ask me. Okay, employee name. Let's come to employee name. I will. I will make it with you because it's the very first one. Employee name looks like a character field. Yes, it's a character field. Every yeah, employee yeah, yeah. name employee is a character. Is a character. Yes. yes. Yeah. And every employee has a name. Every employee has a name, right? There's nobody without yeah. a name. So what do you call so, it so, as? So, a column. So, but employee name. Employee name. So, so there are two foreign keys here then, and two primary keys. Which is no, no, no. Name cannot be a primary key because there can be two Krish, right? Yeah. Okay. There can yes. be two Krish, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Name yeah. cannot be primary key. Name is not unique. They can be two Krish. There can be two Bharatis. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, okay. so name job, is what? Job, job, not... job. Wait, wait, Krish. Job. Krish, let us finish. Name yeah. is a not null field. Name is a not null field. You agree? What? What? What is it? Not null field. Name is a not null field oh, because yes, every yes, employee not, has not, yeah. Yeah, yes, every employee not. has a name. Mandatory to have a name. So yes. name is a not null field. Okay. Then similarly, job. Job is a character field. Okay. Yes, job is a not null field. Every employee has a job. Yes. Okay. What next? Next is what? Manager is like a uh, it's a it's a numeric value. Who is this manager? Then, if you are an employee, who is your manager? Prime uh, manager is the foreign key. If you are an employee, your manager would be another employee. Yes. Right. So yes. manager column takes values which are there in the employee number column of the table only. Can, can manager column. Manager column yeah. takes values yeah. from the employee number columns only. Yes. So manager yes. is a foreign key field. Yeah. It is manager is a foreign key field. You remember it is referring to the yeah. primary yeah. key of the same table. So primary yeah. key, foreign key can be between tables. It can be within the same table also, right? So here yeah. is a foreign key yeah. which is referring to the same table. Then what next? Higher date. Higher date is it? Date. Date value. Hello. Date value. Hello. Hello? 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 Hello?
ഹലോ Hello? Can you hear me, Chris? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Can you so, hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, tell me. Yes, sir. So, do you have any the same problems with other students too, or just me? <laughs> no, it's with you. No, there's some problem at my end also, I guess. Some internet is fluctuating. Usually, I will not uh, have such issues. I'll try to figure out what it is. Okay, okay. okay any because people know, none of them use their phones, I'll tell you. Everybody use a system only, the internet call itself in the session. Okay, so okay. Uh, uh, it was you, it's only you who's having the phone. I'll try to fix it, Chris. I'll, I'll try to resolve. But I, now, I don't think so there's any problem because I do conduct sessions uh, uh, regularly. Uh, every day I conduct, not only for you, for others also, online sessions. I do conduct. Okay, okay let's continue. Let's not waste any time on this. Yeah, okay, sure. so we see that salary is a numeric field. Okay, manager, yeah. if you observe carefully, manager, one of the employee, King, does not have a manager. He does not report to anybody. He is the president Who? of the organization. Who? King, King, one Who's of that? the employees. King, King. Yeah. Pick King. Oh, the president, yeah. Yeah, the King, yeah, the president, yeah, he. Uh, he can be an so al-value. Yeah. 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 manager does not exist? Is manager is not? Yeah, it's an al-value. Yeah. So the only reason why I want to show this is, I want you to understand the primary key, foreign key, the data type, okay, null and not null key, character data, yeah. the format of date. So let's go, let's go, start with the lesson. Uh, 
No, I think everything you said for the last two minutes is like breaking up. I can't hear like one single word. You could get what I said. Hello? Yes, yeah, now, now I can hear you. Now, now I can hear you. Okay. So every day okay. you have to start working. You have Okay, so I need to talk to the tiger. Okay. You? Yes. So who put the password the password of the tiger? Is it in is it in the, is it in the command one to when we execute it? Can you hear me, Chris? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, you were asking about the password. The password is Tiger. Yes. So who did okay, you can that? Did, 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 did we execute that before? Like in the end? When, in when yes. We All the first, wait, wait, wait. Who created the Scott Tiger? Who created the tables? How did you get that the employee table? How It was all with the build file. I gave you a build, right? This is how oh, I yes, start yes, my right. session. So, Ah, because okay. when I ask people to create their own tables, it will take time. You will anyway create yeah. in this course, but not now. You will do it yeah. later. Yeah. Okay, now let's get okay. into the lesson. Okay, the very first okay. lesson, what we are going to learn. We are going to understand the skill is high level, not people, not basic language. As you know, to interact with the command that the language command. DDL data definition language command. Okay, here you have create, alter, truncate, and drop. We'll work on all these commands. We'll work on all of them. These are the data definition language commands. Then come data manipulation language commands. So data retrieval I have listed. Okay, I have listed select. What do you do with select? You read data from the table. Okay. Then comes data manipulation language command, changing the data from present in the table. Here you have insert, update, delete, command. To control transaction, you have commit and rollback. These are transaction control language commands. Okay, these are the categories of SQL command. Then you have also have data control language under which you have grant and revoke. What is the use of grant? Grant is used to give permission to do something on the database. Revoke is actually taking back the given permission taking back the permission, yeah. whatever has been given, okay? Now, most of the time is spent by people doing select, reading data from the table, pulling out reports. Most of the people working on the database, you must be heard about developers, database administrators, people who are into testing, who are into support, who are into maintenance in the IT industry. People work in these kind of roles, in these kind of projects, support projects, maintenance projects. So most of them are given privilege to do select. What to select? Reading data from the table. 
So what we are going to do, we are going to work on all the commands. We are going to work on all the commands, but I am going to start the lesson with select commands. Our first, first few days, we will understand select. This is how even Oracle is going to drive the code. So what is that we are going to do with select? Reading the values present in the columns of the table. So that's how we wrote a query, right? Select star from table name. So what was star here? Yes, I, I gave these commands. You remember, set page size, line size. Why should we do this? This is to get a better display. You remember, Chris? Just some time yeah. back, I gave you set line size, set page size. That is to get a better display. Okay. Now, describe EMP. Can you see that command? Describe EMP. When you say, I am executing it for you. Just observe. DESC, describe EMP table. This is going to give you the structure of the employee table. It has eight columns. Okay, yeah. These are the columns. Yes, these are the data types of those columns. Got it? One is a numeric field, yeah. one is a character field. Okay, this is how describe yeah. command is going to help you. Now, we will start our lesson with select. We will start our lesson with select. So what was the first select statement we wrote? Select star from EMP. Star indicates all the columns of the table. So star will show you all the columns of the table. If you don't want to see all the columns of the table, you write a query. So what is select? Select is called as a query. Krish, remember this. Very commonly asked. In, this is a language you need to speak going further. That you wrote a query to generate a report. Okay. You are reading yeah. data from the table. You are writing the query. Okay. So the next query is select employee number comma employee name from EMP. Can you please do this? Can you please do this quickly? Can you yeah. type and execute okay. this? Yes. Yeah. This is how I usually drive the session. I would want my participant execute as I speak or as I show. Yeah. So this is going to list yeah. you two yeah. columns of the table. This yeah, is I going to list you two columns of the table. You can yeah. list of whichever column you want it. You can list in whichever order you want it. That's the material. That's based on the report. You will see in whichever order you want it. Okay. In whichever uh, whichever field you wanted, you will see. You may not see all the columns of the table. Okay. So as you're reading columns of the table, what am I trying to do here? Okay. Employee no, number. No, hold on. When I said select the EMP in in from the employee, I only got number two. I thought I thought we get the data of the whole thing, right? No, no, no. You have to give a semicolon and enter, Krish. You forgot the semicolon and then enter keystroke. I did. You I have did to give a semicolon. Okay, no, I, no, I you, you, I, okay. you, you would have missed the semicolon. You would have missed oh, the semicolon, I'm sure. Okay. okay, okay, from DMP. Semicolon. Okay, okay, semicolon. Okay, there's two things. There's semicolon and there's like a column, right? Okay. Okay, I got like all the uh, 14 rows. Yes, understood? Because remember one thing, semicolon is the code terminator. Any command we write, anything we do in a skill prom, we have to end it with a semicolon and press the enter key only then the command is going to be executed. Yeah, okay. And until then, it will wait for you to give the command. It will wait for you to yeah. give the instruction. Only after you give a semicolon, the command is going to be executed. Now. That's so what am yeah. I trying to do here? Employee name is displayed as EMP name. So what is this EMP name? There's no column as EMP name. I'm just giving a display name for a column. Okay. So that somebody looking at the output can understand what yeah. it is. Because this happens very, very widely. This happens in every query you write. Display names are given for the columns. Columns are not shown as they are in the table. Every yeah. uh, Because they are more user friendly. They are more meaningful. Right, Chris? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, as keyword is used to give the alias name. As ENT name. Job. Job is displayed. No as. The as is not mandatory. 
EMP job is a column name. Salary comes as salary. There is a calculated field, salary plus 100, which is shown as E sal from the table EMP. Can you please do this? Initially, you may okay. feel that you are, a, you are a bit slow and things like that. It's okay. We can go slow. As you get the concepts, I can speed okay. up a bit. The micro, I mean, the micro, I, I mean. The micro, okay, my question is like, you know, it's like, EMP name and then the, the commas are over, right? So how could how could the machine get? You know, if you say if you say select the employee number, e name, e name as a, e employee name. Yes. And the second job and the second is comma on the after that job. So it's comma it comma is used as a field separator. You there are ten columns in the table. You want to separate the columns, use a comma. Comma is the field separator. No, the micro snake. How do you? No, how, no, how do you how do you separate employee name, e name as employee name, and job job employee job salary salary plus hundred as equal. E, there's a comma, e, right? There's a comma. There's a comma after every column. Yeah. Comma is the field separator. Okay. So yeah. see, this is employee number field. Employee name is shown as EMP name. This is a job field which is shown as EMP job. Then there's a salary, there's no space here. Then there's salary field, comma. Salary plus 100 is a calculated field. What which is shown job? as... Why, why is there no comma of the job? No, job is having an alias name. Job is displayed under the column name EMP job. So as is not okay. mandatory. So I skipped as there. I skipped the as there purposefully just to show you different possibilities. Okay. Okay. So when I click on the enter and then Okay, select employee name. Okay, and e name as employee. EMP name. Okay. Job. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Hello? I'm listening. Yes, tell yeah, me. Yes, so I, I, I did execute it, right? So what? Select the employee number and the e name as EMP. EMP name. Yeah, you executed it. You executed it. Yes. Yes. So observe. Yes. E name column is under the column name EMP name. The column name in the display has changed. The column name in the display has changed. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 That's the purpose yes. of. That's the purpose of giving a column alias name. So what is a column alias oh. name? It is a display name for for a column on the report. On the output, if you don't want a column to be shown, okay, uh, with this original name, you want to show it with a different name, you can give an alias okay. name for the column. Yeah. And one, one more thing, you should hide all the calculations done on the column. Yeah. Salary plus 100, you are adding 100 to salary, why should you show this on yeah. the report? Somebody looking at the report will come to know, yes, you have added 100 to salary. So you are hiding all yeah. calculations. You are hiding all the functionality called on the column by giving the column a year's name. And remember, this is going to be there in every query you come across. Maybe okay. not in the session, but in real time, in real time, every query you have, okay, the columns would be a year's. This is how you give a column a year's name. Okay? So, yeah. you can see the next query. The next query I made is much more interesting. Where? Where what am I doing? I am displaying employee number. I am showing it as EMP underscore NO. You can show it as anything. You can show it as anything. There is no need to do it. But just time to link. Okay? Select employee See, This employee is shown as employee. Employee. Yes. Which one This is all to do with the one. No, no need to execute. No need to execute. You execute this. Okay. See, employee number, employee name, job is shown as e job. Salary is multiplied by 1.1. It is 10% of salary. 
It is having an alias yeah. name eSAL. Some of the table employees? Yes, do this. Yeah. Do this. Do that, select employee name, employee number, employee name, the yes. job is, okay. Employee number, email, job, e-job. What, okay, what, I'm just confused, what's the job and e-job, that's the thing, so. Uh, it's the same like the previous example, there's nothing new here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I did, you did get the, uh, so I got the employee number of the employee name and then job, so we, so you didn't put job at e job, right? So there's no at in between. You should be, you can also put at in between, right? Job at e job. Hello? 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 Hello?
hello
answer because I could not yeah, hear I can, you. Yeah, I can yes. hear you now. You would execute the one what I showed. No, I'll try to resolve if yeah. there's any issue from my end. Because I was doing the regular sessions there and no problem. There is the time to have a phone. I have a Okay, I will try to resolve. The other issue for the intellectual being Hello, you're break. You're really breaking up. I can't yeah. hear anything. Yesterday. Yeah. Question. No, what to do? Never mind. Why my voice trying to? Okay, so I muted all the commands actually. Mm -hmm. So, so the pipe. I can't. I can't. No, it's break stuff really bad. Okay, so. Hello? Okay. I'm listening. I execute pipe combine. So the so the pipe is going to combine those two. See into one. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you, yeah. Yeah, tell me five is for what? Uh, I am John. Hello? Yeah, tell me. So if you put this, this uh, if you put something uh, in, in, uh, in between the pipe, so it should be in the semi in, in the column, like yes. code? Yes. You are bringing in some text to show that so and so works as so and so. Okay, so Smith works what, as clerk. What if there are what if there are no codes? Like I don't want the code. Like each code should be. No, there. no, no. You can't there, bring uh, in. You can't bring in something additional to the columns of the table without code. Work okay. as the text. You, okay, if you want to bring in that text in between the columns, you have to give a single code. E-name e is a column of the table. Job is a column of the table. Department number is a column of the table. Yeah. So if you want to bring in some other text in between the columns of the table, you are giving it in single code. Oh, okay, you have got single code, okay. Okay, that's called as concatenation. I think is to concatenate, combine something with your actual columns. So the output looks uh, like a report which you can read, which tells so-and-so works as so-and-so in department, so-and-so, with every column, yeah. with every uh, yeah. the row is it's uh, it's a complete text what you can read now a phrase a sentence yeah. form okay yes yeah. yeah. this was projection what we did was 
just seeing a few columns of the table. The table has eight columns. The table has 14 records. You were seeing all the 14 records of the table. If you are not interested yeah. to see all the 14 records of the table, what is that we are going to do? We are going to use a where filter. We are going to use a where clause with the query and filter out only those rows which have. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello?
Hello? Yeah, tell me. Okay, now you can hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. So, my question is, you know, uh, okay, if, I, if I say, right, if I say this one here, uh, select e-name pipe, fire, uh, uh, fire him, uh, pipe, job at employee details from employee. Yes. Why does it not uh, go to like because it's like I give I have given him the name right and then they uh, uh, I put something in the pipe in the, in the single code and then job yes yeah yeah with the pipe what are you doing you're combining them you're combining e name and job you now whole thing is just one column the whole thing is just one column with, no, so what yeah, is the name for the no, column. column no my question is why why is this not going to the correct e name pipe Yes. Pipe, job, as employee details from employee name, from employee. So, from, sorry, from ENP. So, so is that query not executing? Are you getting any errors? Yes, uh, the error is, uh, okay, I, I'll, I will, the error is, you know. I will do it for error you. Error Select. Error, 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 okay. error, 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 Select error, employee error. name. Can you see my screen maybe? If, if, if I'm, I'm screen showing it screen. for you. Huh? I'm showing it for you. I have details from EMP. It has to work. See Krish, I type it for you. Select yeah, e-name, yeah, type it with job. I the whole thing is one column. It has an alias name EMP details. Okay, I want to see, I want you to see my screen though. Like, how does it work? What error you're getting? So, okay, can you see my screen now? How can I? No. No, I can't make. I can't make you this presentation. I can't, you can't do that? Okay. No, so I can't now, okay, do that. Okay, so this one, you know, for example, right, so write, write what I want, what I, what I, what I will say, okay? How about write this one? Hello? Now, can you read the error message? Yeah, okay, there is, the error message is uh, error, uh, okay, uh, error at line one, zero, o, o, R, A, hyphen zero zero nine three six missing expression. As EMP underscore details from EMP semicolon. Say, have you typed exactly like what I have done? I see. Let me select. No, the no, no, no. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually testing this one. So why can't this one work? Uh, select. Oh, okay. Then you have to type it on the chat window. You copy paste your okay, code okay. on the chat window. Then I'll tell you what is wrong. Okay. 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 How? Okay. Select e name. Select e name. Uh, type. Ah, okay, something else. Type. Okay, first then job and apply it as from that right. Job job employee apply it as from that right. Okay. Yes. Pipe. Yeah, can you see can you see the, the chat I just sent? Yes. Are there single quotes? Are there single quotes? Yes. yes it looks yeah, fine. Is... What is wrong with this? Pipe in single quote, you're given fire him. Okay. Then you have closed the quotes and you're piped with job field. Okay. 
Now the whole, yes, done. This has an alias name as what? As the MP underscore details. As the MP underscore yeah. details. From the table the MP. See, it works, right? That's okay, can you, can you copy to your, can you, can you copy to your, I don't understand anything, and see why, why you didn't work on mine? You saw the output, right? It works absolutely fine. Ah. Oh. Why did not work? Okay, I'll, I'll copy the same thing again to mine. Yes. Okay. Edit. Uh, have okay. I sent you, Chris? I'm sending you the code. Edit. Yes, I sent you. Oh yeah, now it now it works. Okay. Why didn't it work before? Hmm. Nothing like that. There's nothing like that. Okay. It should work. Okay, Excellent. okay, thank you. Okay, that's all I want. Okay, that's uh, okay. I got this one then. Okay, I have I have this one. Okay. So, so what we what we wrote we wrote just basic queries. We wrote very simple queries. We got to yeah. know how to do the uh, display name for the columns. We yeah. we work yeah. on the concatenation operator. Very importantly, we yeah. got a how we got we understood how to get connected to the database. How to get connected. Yeah. So we created a session as Scott Tiger. The, that's the username using which we will be working. Okay, uh, going further, yeah. and this schema, this database account, is already having four tables. That was the, yeah. uh, uh, the outcome of the build file. What you copy pasted, which I sent by mail. Okay, so we'll be yeah. using these tables during our session. Okay, I'll stop here for yeah. today. So go through what we have done. I will try to fix yeah. the issues. If there is there are any, so that it will be a smooth session from tomorrow onwards. Because can you, can you, uh, we can wasted you, a lot of time. You, okay, yeah, yeah. Can you give me some uh, uh, some some uh, uh, what do you call some homework or something assignment? Yes. Assignment. As of now, you just go through Google because there will be little we have started. Okay, I I cannot hardly I can give you any questions on that. Okay. Uh, uh, if you, okay, make a note of it. I can give you. I can give you. Okay. Okay. So I, I want you. I want you to. Right? I just want. I, I don't want to sit at home. Yes. Yes. List the details of employee. List all no, the details you, of can employee. You, no, can, you, can, you, can you type? I can. I can. I really can. Would you mind typing, please? I'm typing it. Can't you see? See, I'm typing it. Too. Oh yeah, oh you're typing it. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, no, no, I can't see it yet. I think it might take some time. In the notepad file, list employee. Oh, in the notepad. Sorry. Okay. So no, I, 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 don't even see I don't even. I don't see your notepad either. Okay. You you cannot see my notepad. Okay, wait, no, wait. I'll no. give you the question. One second. I'll give you, I'll give you. List employee number. My email displayed as displayed as PNP and PNP and the screen. Yes, I have the four questions. Can't you see my notepad file? Mm, no, not yet. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I've put it on the chat window. I have given you four questions. I've given you four yeah. questions. Try to write queries yeah. for this. Okay. You can okay. just copy so, yeah, I'll, Copy I'll, it and have it. Okay. Yeah. Copy and paste in chat window and I'll copy and paste it to my notepad. Okay. Yes, in a notepad file and you can answer them. Just go through what all we did. Just... Uh, Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll share the. Okay. I have the lesson to be shared. I have the presentation to be shared. I'll share it tomorrow because very little we have done for today. Okay, Chris. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. I'll try to resolve the issue. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Have a good day. We'll connect tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Yeah. yeah.